ஹாய் காய்ஸ் என்னடா இது ரெண்டு பேரும் இப்படி உக்காந்துன்னு இருக்காங்களேன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா வெல்கம் டு த மாங்க் அண்ட் டாக் ஷோ யாரா மாங்க் யாரா டாக் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெட் மீ கிவ் தி இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டு த மாங்க் ஏகே முர்லி விஜய் ஆஸ் யூ கைஸ் நோ இஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்ட் இந்தியா அண்ட் ஆல் தி த்ரீ ஃபார்மேட்ஸ் பிளேட் மோர் தென் 60 டெஸ்ட் மேட்சஸ் 1200ஸ் மோர் தென் 150 ஆட் T20 கேம்ஸ் இஸ் கேப்டன் தி ஐபிஎல் டீம் ஹி இஸ் வன் தி ஐபிஎல் ட்வைஸ் ஹி இஸ் வன் தி சாம்பியன்ஸ் லீக் ஆல் தி அக்லேட்ஸ் இன் தி வேர்ல்ட் வெல்கம் थैंक यू सो मच அனிருத்தா ஸ்ரீகாந்த் இட்ஸ் an absolute honor to be starting this new venture and i'm really excited can't ask for more rani life has been good and i'm enjoying life and i'm back here monk is here so hopefully i can uh, contribute to this uh, cricket talk and uh, maybe we can talk about a lot of things but start off with cricket yes well, definitely yeah. monk we will start off with cricket yana cricket da ipo one the cricket yeah. fever the world cup fever is yes. on its way uh, before anything vijay before we get to the cricket part of it enna macha panin iruke ipo ni last or uh, two years uh, what have you been up to we saw you in the tnpl you were rocking it didn't look like you were actually away from the game narya nal gets actually bat at the ana pond the tnpl la but going forward what are you looking at what have you been doing actually what are you doing in life right now that's a great question ani uh, to be honest because see, even i am finding my own answers to it because as a cricketer we go through a lot of things and suddenly you feel that you're in the ra- last phase of your career it's not easy to be a cricketer and uh, i've been going through my emotions as everybody does i think every each and uh, everybody would have gone through this as a sports personality so even now uh, i was going through my own phase and i'm enjoying life trying to you know do other things other than cricket try to represent myself as a human being and uh, be as honest as possible and enjoy life thoroughly travel around do adventurous things so these is interesting for me in my life and i'm blessed to do that yes definitely adukapra unnod latest venture obviously namba rendu per or golf tournament aadnu we represent it we can officially say vijay namba rendu per vandu rendu sport vandu professional aadi irukum pros pros yeah aadi irukum cricket golf we recently you picked up the game obviously na vandu unak nariya varsham solli irukken through you through you yeah nariya varshama solli irukken golf aadra golf aadra how is that going how was uh, how different is it to play golf it took it took a lot of time for me to understand the game and i was a very lazy person like i was giving a lot of time to cricket and my practice and i was going about things like that and then later on in life in lockdown i thought okay let me try out different sport and uh, first thing came to my mind is running because you told me first to pick up golf 2008 9 i think we have come a long way <laughs> and now to play in the golf course and uh, enjoy that round of golf with you is unbelievable and uh, it's all blessings bro yeah 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 definitely man <gasps> hope to take a lot of money from you in the golf course <laughs> <laughs> he's already doing that <laughs> yeah Now, let's get straight to the business, Vijay. Yes. Obviously, the World Cup is in. Uh, we've seen some few warm-up matches happen. You've seen how the teams are shaping up. You were a part of the World Cup team in 2010. So, talk to me about what are you looking forward to this World Cup? What are your expectations of the Indian team? There are so many teams in conditions. Teams like Australia, teams like South Africa, New Zealand. What are you looking forward for in the World Cup? Yeah, firstly, Ani, it is a massive tournament, to be uh, honest. And the World Cup is a special feeling for all the cricketers. who wants to play at the higher level they all wanted to represent at least the world cup because it's a massive event and uh, i am looking forward for the way indian team is going to perform because i am rooting for them as passionate we are uh, love always to the indian team and wishes to them hopefully they can uh, create an impact in this australian uh, you know down under they're going to play it's going to be amazing i'm looking forward for that and other teams as well wishing all the teams good luck because it's not easy to you know prepare and go and execute at this especially at this time what as a uh, world we are going through is uh, crazy and we can uh, root for a good two months of good cricket intense cricket yes definitely so let's get straight into the world cup vijay uh, obviously 23rd on the india pakistan we'll be covering that later in the other episodes to come ana inniki vande going into the world cup at top of your head one yaar vande favorites in your sikra yaar who is looking strong to you yes we've done <coughs> in depth analysis of other teams on the other shows but ஸ்ட்ரேட் அப் உங்ககிட்ட கேட்டனா மச்சா யார் மச்சா வேர்ல்ட் கப் வின் பண்ணுவா அப்படின்னு கேட்டால் நீ என்ன மச்சா சொல்ல போகிற ஹார்ட்டில் வந்து இப்போதைக்கு இந்தியன் டீம் தான் வருது ஏன்னா வி ஆர் அ வெல் ரவுண்டட் யூனிட் அண்ட் வி ஆர் பிளேட் இன் ஆஃப் டோர்னமெண்ட்ஸ் ப்ரையர் டு வட் அண்ட் வி ஆர் இன் ஃபார்ம் ஈவன் தோ பும்ரா இஸ் நாட் தேர் யா ஈவன் தோ பும்ரா இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அ கிரேட் மிஸ் பும்ரா இஸ் அ டாப் கிளாஸ் பவுலர் அண்ட் எனி டீம் வுட் லவ் டு ஹாவ் அ கேலிவர் லைக் ஹிஸ் இன் த ரேங்க்ஸ் பட் அன்ஃபார்ச்சுனேட்லி யூ நோ தட் இஸ் ஸ்போர்ட் ஆஸ் வெல் வி கோ டாக் அபவுட் லாட் ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் um in this episode and future about all the aspects of a sports person's life and how he goes through about 
his difficulties and how he comes out of it. Yeah, um, but leaving alone now, um, Bumra, the Shami and Gangna team are well rounded. I have a feel. Plus, they have played enough matches to get their confidence going. So, all the batsmen, especially in Australia, if they can give a good total with our bowling, I think we can defend. We have quality spinners and the middle overs are going to be crucial for us. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. The start matters. Hopefully, we can get a good start and create the momentum. Yes, definitely. Any other teams that you're looking out for? Any other countries that you've played against? Ani, definitely England nalla pone drukanga. They also played 100 and they have a good... Uh, to be honest, England was a lot of time to try to win the team. You know, they have a lot of county system, they have a lot of shots, they have a lot of shots, they have a lot of shots. So, England is also a team to look, uh, look out for because they have professional setup and they have a uh, proper, you know, vision for their uh, team. So, hopefully... Even the way they play their cricket. Yeah, actually, Nipatana. It's a new brand they are creating. They they have created a new brand in Test cricket. Yeah, and the culture is going. Yes, definitely. I am I am absolutely with you. Actually, Munadi shows along the panini nerg moda dey kelvi dang ketang. I mean, who do you think is the top of the favourite? Obviously, Australia. You can't let them. They are the home ground and they have the better chance. Exactly, they are the home. They are champions. Ni aangu side the patana or Maxwell or David Warner. Okay, Maxwell out of form. David Warner. Finch uh, at the top of the order, Mitchell Marsh, and then you have their bowling lineup, that bowling attack, Vijay. Stark, Hazelwood, and Cummins, three of them coming at you. Gun fast bowlers, no thing. So, that's why I'm not a nightmare. That's opening bats for nightmare. I'm not a nightmare. And a nice on a point, absolutely, is what I resonate with. England. You know, the formats that they bring in, they don't have T20 format. They don't have to play cricket. T20 format down there, that's one down. But the way they've approached the T20 cricket, but Ben Stokes, the three players that are team, cool. Obviously, a big game player. Yes. Talk about big games. He might not be the most consistent player. Yeah, Nane Solir guy. He might not be the most consistent player. All match hiding one. Exactly. That impact. That is something sensational. So yeah, I'm with you. Those three teams are obviously the teams to watch out for. Yeah, they are in the top three to go qualify. And, uh, and then you have your dark horses. Or New Zealand, West Indies, South, South Africa, Africa and uh, you know, any team can any come, team can come in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. It's a World Cup, anything is possible. But these three teams, I think, uh, have the best chance to qualify. And from there, it's, uh, you know, each day, you know, every day, 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 every day. Vijay, I'm going to put you on to the test, Vijay. You've obviously represented India in the World Cup. Let's get straight to the lab, guys. Yeah, this is the lab, guys. I mean, not the lab, not a laboratory in ring, cricket show, not a lab. Basically, in the segment, Vijay, the specialist, obviously, he's going to talk about the entire preparation for a World Cup. What's the matter? What's the World Cup? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the thought process? He's going to show us exactly a deep insight to what a cricketer actually goes through during a World Cup, before the World Cup. Yeah, I can actually tell you before the World Cup. So let's get cracking, Vijay. Get your bat out. Uh, to start off with that, Ani, firstly, uh, during a big tournament like this, your mental game is very important, right? All of them will be preparing, putting their mind into it. Every practice session is going to be focused and, uh, you know, outmost uh, effort will be given, 100, 100 plus effort will be given. The, the main thing is to how you keep your mental space for a big tournament matters. And secondly, we'll, we'll go for this technical aspect of batting. Mm -hmm. uh, like you see in Australia, the, 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 the pitch what we're going to play is going to have a lot of bounce. Everybody knows. So, Ani, as we spoke before, like in Australian conditions, you have to bounce and you want to tackle. Panno. So, you have to batsmen prepare for batsmen. Like KL Rahul, like Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, uh, Dinesh Karthik, uh, Rishabh Pant, Hardik Pandya, yeah. Surya Kumar Yadav. So how are they going to go about their business? How are they going to execute their plans? It's going to be crucial for us as spectators from here. We wish them good luck, but I just want to share a few things. What I think is going to be ideal in Australian conditions because I have this prior, everybody has played in Australia, in our team before this. So everybody are going to uh, come up with their own plans, but the whole, whole idea is to get adapt to the bound. Like a player from India, like we, when we go to Australia, like for example, Brisbane, first practice game, the wicket was fiery. It was green, there was, I could see the tinge of green there, and the ball was flying around. So, but our batsmen played some exclusive shots, but we played 185, which is huge in Australian conditions. So if we can do the same thing, recreate the same momentum, the batting technique is absolutely there. But the only thing I would like to suggest here is to understand the bounce. Like what shots you're going to play as an opener, because we don't have much time. We're going in, 
uh, everything is set and you got to create that momentum so in the morning in the preparation he solli nerukum bodhu that you spoke about the mental space of a batsman yes. how to prepare definitely the bounce is going to be a factor yes that bounce is the factor bounce so is you got to plan bounce. your game accordingly and a nariya lateral movement i don't think will be kurukka maanga t20 la all over it exactly so as an opening batsman macha nee enna macha yosikiraanga ulle pomoda ipo nee australia la obviously nee six overs nee vandu power play nee vandu quick start kudukano but at the same time you have the opportunity to play 20 overs and australian boundaries are a little bigger do you change anything from your preparation that you normally do for a world cup or do you say illa i'll only make these subtle changes my mindset is still the same end of the day it's say as a batsman no ani you we all take every game as the same intensity and uh, wherever we play for india especially every game is going to be crucial and world cup has its own hype around it so as a batsman you feel more energetic to go and perform so a, a player like personally me i got to control my emotions and keep myself calm so that is the best space i can give for myself to perform if i go a little anxious about the next day against pakistan i'm i'm going to think and i'm going to overthink so nobody wants to do that so everybody wants to get into the comfort zone before the match so that they can express themselves fully so basically if you see in australia uh, i would go with the preparation of maybe get my cut and pull mm. if i'll be waiting for the ball to bounce so i'll be holding a little bit on my back foot try to play in my cut and pull get my scoring shots and then see what from there the momentum is taking yeah, me forward obviously a t20 la momentum but yeah. solla ve vena you get a couple of boundaries go. then you can go for a 20 run over yeah. with our abilities exactly. so so it depends on kl rahul and rohit sharma how they going to approach the initial 2 3 overs mm. how are they going to set the tone for the re- remaining um, uh, no, 18 17 overs for the team yeah. it's going to be crucial let's talk about the other preparation which is very very key you know managing injuries managing your body True you're that. going to be playing five matches Uh, high intensity high matches. intensity so how do you prepare for that vijay ungane vandu do you change up you know as cricketers as a cricketer na ena na indha mari or periya ipl tournament or let your periya state match tournament or and the time la vandu obviously your intensity increases kandipa from your ipo your league game la and the level la da nam pesrom ipo and the makkale and the viewers ku vandha enna solla varano we are talking about elite cricketers preparing for the game of uh, world cup yes so exactly so how are they going to get their emotions intact and perform under pressure yeah so how do you do that do you change up anything one of the food habits like do you change all those or do you keep that to a minimal you know you make sure that you eat on time sleep on time uh before a world cup or do you like illa i live my life i'll keep taking it day by day how does what i have found out about my own preparation is i need two weeks prior to the tournament any big tournament i get into prior to that when i'm in hometown and i'm doing my practice things alone that's where i really zone into it that's where i put in all my effort to understand what i'm going to do how i'm going to tackle se- selected bowlers how i'm going to come up with my own plans inside if i'm caught off hop guard so how am i going to come up with that plan and uh, you know play for the best of my ability so these things happen prior to the tournament once i get into the tournament i like to mellow down i like to focus on my mind uh, mental game more and try to relax myself as much as possible before the big game because yeah. the main thing is to be relaxed and be calm yeah definitely we talk about big games guys we have a huge game coming up this sunday india versus pakistan uh, vijay will take us through what and how we can tackle the pakistani bowlers you have nazim shah you have shaheen shah afridi you have aris rao one of the best bowling attacks obviously against one of the best batting lineups yeah. in india so in our next show we'll bring in that uh, guys amazing vijay this lab has been a real insight into a cricketer's mind going into the world cup oh in the mar than cricketer yosi pano okay so the gist of it what i got out of it if i may be a little more clear even for the audience anga yes, yes. for them, them. Uh, for them. when you are going into the world cup so in australia generally the general preparation you spoke so much about the mental preparation uh, it's uh, you hear yenga appa le inda any former cricketer game, any yeah. legend they always say 75% is in the head 90% is in the mind for me people have told 90% is your mind and 10% is your remaining skill and yeah. talent so but let's talk about the 10% remaining skill and tackle and you said very clearly technique wise you're looking to wait for the ball to bounce yes i'm going to allow the ball to bounce and try to play my cut and a pull which i have in my um, armory Arsenal. yeah whatever they call it uh, i'm going to uh, get them out from my <laughs> uh, for my uh, performance so i'm going to make sure that i'm focusing on my cuts and pull i'm ready there i'm i'm understanding the bounce of the wicket uh, really fast but we don't have time yeah you don't right. have I time i stand in the non striker when you play the first ball ani i get to gauge that but when you play it's entirely different right your mindset is so open and you got to go with 100% energy from the ball one yeah. so it is a 
blessing for us to be there in that position over a period of time. Mm -hmm. And now we wish the Indian team, whoever is going to open is not going to be easy. But guys, you are skillful and you have done it over a period of time. So back that ability and go full on. Express yourself. Yes, absolutely, Vijay. That has been amazing, man. Cheers, Baba. Baba. Cheers, 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 cheers. Love you all. Yeah. First match 48 against Afghanistan. Second match, Bhirinder Seva got some stomach problem and he didn't play. So Dinesh was opening with me. I went to have a leak. So MS Dhoni is standing next to me. Okay, he came from nowhere. You know how MS works. He just like quietly came next to me. He whispered, "Mom, take care of the runner. <laughs> be, be aware of your dog. Running between the wickets is out. I don't know why I said that. Okay, I, I didn't know because everybody are preparing me at that level. Where before just going about the bat. And we went in as usual Dinesh and we walked in and he took strike. First ball he did uh, defend or something like that. Now uh, JP Dumi and AP Dumi just were there. That man, a man called for a single. And I came bro and he just turned his back. <laughs> and I was looking at MS inside. Like, why will you say something like that before I bat? Why will you do that? It's unbelievable, bro. Some look. See, and the nerves in Mangla, the nerves are inside the World Cup. So, what did you get run out? I almost, I was in the middle of the wicket, bro. It <laughs> oh, yes. got me around. You know what happened? Hey, Brilliant went like that and he flicked the ball. He missed the stump, square leg left. So I came back here. And you know, the next ball I asked Dinesh, what is happening, bro? Okay, now the run get now. Macha out swing now. Sorry, in swing now. Peria in swing for now. First ball out swing, nick off. <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone on the Pati, on the Aranda Vishnu. The uh, Indian team was fun with us, bro. Tamil mentality and Indian team. We, we somehow had this mystical way of enjoying life because we can't understand Hindi. But somehow we think that they're talking nicely about us. And they also think these guys are talking nicely about them. So it was some nice fun Indian uh, cricket team. Ashish Nehra was there, showstopper. See, Ani, in the high intensity tournament, it's very important to have one character. Okay, a team man who can make the team, you know, think in a positive direction. Even though you, at times we drift. Everybody drift because yeah, if you yeah, don't yeah. have a good day, everybody can't be happy all the time. So some people might get into a dark place. So as a team man like you, you can go put your hand up and say, Macha, come, let's go for a walk. You know, talk it out. Make it. And the character is now a learning as a team environment. Obviously, guys, we are going to bring more. Next, uh, next segment, obviously, India, Pakistan, Vijay will take us there. Yepudi prepare panna, yepudi and the Pakistani bowlers, how he would look to tackle, what he would look at his scoring areas. There's so much to talk about, guys. You know, World Cup to Nariyar Vijay. We'll be here. We'll be engaging with the fans, guys. Please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell icon notification. If you like us, please support us. Because without you guys, we can't go anywhere. What do you say, Vijay? 100%. And uh, we'll, we want, all we have is love towards you all. And um, we want to give the best uh, insight about the game. So I'm looking forward for this uh, whole uh, month and uh, let's see wish for Indian cricket to go and uh, lift the trophy attitude. Right? Yeah man, let's do it. Cheers Baba. Cheers guys. Cheers guys, happy life.